at Josh Eisenberg4 on Twitter. Welcome back to Chair Shot Reality, binging us all weekend long. It is now time for NXT in 90. Roderick Strong versus Pete Dunne for the WWE UK Championship took a big chunk of NXT television this past Wednesday night on the WWE Network, and I loved it. Pete Dunne has always been my boy. I loved him since the UK tournament. His match with Tyler Bate in 2017 was my match of the year, and he picks up another great win against Roderick Strong, keeping going with that momentum. Every couple of weeks, every month, you see that UK Championship spotlighted, and a great job for Pete Dunne to retain, and I think bigger and better things come for Dunne in 2018, whether it be Raw or whether it be SmackDown. TM61 comes back into the ring, makes quick work of a couple of jobbers, and they are really on the pass pace to the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, potentially the finals. You know that the Tag Team Division needs a big bolt of energy, potentially losing the Authors of Pain, potentially losing Sandy in 2018, and what better way than the feud down the road with the Undisputed Era. But it's all about Shayna Baszler versus Ember Moon for me this past week. Shayna Baszler continues to be ruthless, continues to be aggressive, and Kyrie Sane comes to the aid and comes to the saving grace for Ember Moon. But I do think Shayna Baszler is money. She is the right woman to go after this championship, and she'll get another opportunity in New Orleans, along with her girl Ronda Rousey making her WrestleMania debut. The four horse women, whatever you want to call it, they're going to take over WWE. They're going to take over NXT. And Shayna Baszler is the most hated and heated person on that NXT roster right now. I'm looking forward to see what they do with Shayna Baszler. At Josh Eisenberg for Chair Shot Reality, continue to watch all weekend long. It's going to be a good one.